Get pasta. Nothing ever goes as planned. So we came to the mechanic shop hoping that all we needed were new shocks. And it turns out we have two leaf springs that are broken. So there's no way that carrying this much weight that we should be driving on that. Um, so we've got to figure out how to get those replaced. Luckily we have a solution, but it's going to take longer than we thought it would, like a whole day. But they're nice and we're going to camp in the mechanic shop. <laughs> a little side note, everybody who overlands for any amount of time in Central and South America ends up with one of these stories where you get broken down in an inconvenient place because whoever chooses where you break down and you have to deal with the situation and you have to ask if you can camp in the mechanic shop. So this is our story doing that. It's going great so far. We did meet some German friends that we made and uh, they told us they broke down, had to get towed to Guerrero Negro and then spent a month, one month in Guerrero Negro, which is not a, a fun place to be. <laughs> they can do that, we can do this. Yeah, one day. One day. By two o'clock tomorrow, which incidentally tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Which is our, our anniversary. anniversary. But Nothing goes as planned because we're called to wander, not called to live by a set schedule, right? So those days are just a little different. No big deal. You alright? Yep. Right? Just to summarize, I had the window rolled down after we did our massive off-road trip. And I heard this like metal on metal sound. And metal on metal is never good. So I was like, Lindsay, we've got some issues. And she said, maybe it's the shocks. It's probably the shocks. They haven't been done. We, re we did replace the front shocks about a year ago, but we haven't done anything with the rear ones. So we said, let's just go and replace the rear shocks. So we do that, we're waiting, and um, we're waiting for the new shocks to come in so they can get swapped out. In the meantime, Lindsay goes and walks around and takes a look in the, the suspension area of our truck, and she notices that we've got two springs that are busted. So now we know what all the scraping and clinking and metal sound was. It wasn't that our shock was bad and that there was metal grinding inside the shock itself. It was that the leaf spring had broken and that was where the grinding was coming from. So they took the two rear shocks off. Hopefully that's not somebody dying over there. <laughs> Does he still have his arms? Yeah. He still, yes. still has his arms. Good. There's a guy working with the saw if you can't tell from the noise. So when they took the shocks off, turns out they're not bad, they're not good, but they're definitely not bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to get new shock with... Which they did not have the ones we wanted. They didn't have the ones we wanted in stock. So they have the exact replacement of what we had on, but we were hoping to beef it up a little bit. But they don't have the bigger shocks, so... We're going to take the new shock with the old shock, get this thing fabricated together, put back under the truck, so it'll almost be like we have the beefed up shock. Yeah. Right? Yeah, <coughs> I'm choking them, on sawdust. Did you tell them what these mechanics do? <laughs> oh, they fix Baja 1000 cars. They build race cars. We're not worried. <laughs> they got this. And we're gonna be camping out in the driveway, so we'll show you some of that. We trust these guys are super nice, super honest, and very qualified for what they're doing. This is a hiccup in our plans, but making this video is a hiccup. I thought we were just gonna replace our shocks and get on the road and yeah, then we'd do a video about Toto Santos. But I guess Toto Santos will come later. Manana. Manana, manana. Not now, sometime. As our fortune goes, there are no leaf springs in the area that they're able to have access to, but of the one, two, three, four, five, vehicles sitting in their parking lot or in their shop space one of them happens to be an f-250 with the same size leaf springs that we need so i'm not saying it's meant to be but i mean is it meant to be yeah it's kind of it's kind of meant to be we would have gone to that other place and he didn't have f-250 springs i mean it could have been all kinds of chaos so what do you do 
this is supposed to happen and we're gonna make the most of it. So while they're disassembling the F-250, It's old, but it'll work. I mean, I'll get the job done, so. We're gonna run over to the grocery store and grab some dinner and some cervezas to give um, the mechanic. Really cool family. Hopefully we can learn more about them. My Spanish is limited, of course, so it's very hard to understand everything. But thankfully, one of the sons speaks English. Yeah. So. We're gonna get on the road and go get us some dinner. Go, go eat me some dinner. Go get me some dinner. Heat me, me up. up. I'm gonna heat, heat, heat me up some to eat. Heat me up. Heat me up some to eat. That'll make sense to you if you watch episode number, I think it's 19. Yeah, no idea. If this makes the cut, we'll link to it. Heat yeah. me up. Heat me up some to eat. I choose left. Look at Hanky, the Christmas tree. <laughs> it is. Mr. Hanky, how are you? Oh, Hanky's got toilet paper stuck in him. <laughs> Is that human? No, I think it's dog. <laughs> we just crossed the Arroyo, which is a dry riverbed. That's a word you'll come across often when you're in Baja. And you may wonder what it means. Arroyo is dry riverbed. Then you've got... Magically it's Sears. Sears. Right? Cooked chicken. You got your mind set on chicken? I've got my mind set on something that's already cooked. Okay. I got my mind set on Burger King. I don't. That's already cooked. Yeah. We're in Soriano, which is a huge, massive grocery store slash everything else store. Like being in the United States. I don't have any cash until I go to the ATM. Oh, okay. Well, go to so the ATM. I'm, I'm going to have to meet you. Woke up this morning to some, I guess, good news. We could hear the welding and banging and clanking going on until about 10 o'clock last night. And it looks like the leaf springs are off the old truck. Which means they're ready for our truck. They're already getting started putting in the new shocks with the custom piece they welded. We're gonna have our old shocks with new shocks. And because they can't get the premium um, version of the shocks that we were looking for, they kind of refused to let us just uh, go with the, a replacement of the one that we had. He wanted to reinforce it, so we, we went with it. He builds Baja 1000 race cars. So we're, um, we got this custom welded part and they're working on installing it right now. And there are flies all over this place. Hi Lindsay, how are you? <laughs> I mean, the truck's much better. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year. It's New Year's Eve. We just left the mechanic shop. Truck's better. And, um, wow, was that an adventure. Yeah. 24 hours, literally a full day in the mechanic shop. Camped out overnight. And at one point, we were in the camper getting our work done, because what else are we going to do but get some work done? And the next thing I know, Lindsay almost falls down off the sofa. Yeah, because I just stood up. And stuff's falling on my head. I'm like, what in the world? And then I knew exactly what in the world. The jack that they were using had fallen into the dirt or whatever. The truck fell on its side because it had the tire off. Yeah. And yeah, we all, we fell over. It was great. I mean, not completely over. Not completely over, yeah. Not a truck just fell on its rotor. Not like a turtle upside down. But thank goodness we're parked on dirt. We're on our way to Toto Santos, sort of. Trying to sort find, of. well, I mean, we're on our way, but yeah. we were hoping to snag an Airbnb, but we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to reserve it until we knew we were going to actually make it out of the mechanic shop. Yeah. And in waiting the extra couple hours, the hotel we were hoping to stay at seems to be gone. Yeah, it's all booked up. So we might be boondocking somewhere, which means we got to get on the road. Yeah. 
and we don't it's have, gonna get dark soon. We don't have much light. So we're gonna get on the road and we might have some crazy story about how our New Year's goes in, dang it, I forgot. Todos Santos. <laughs> yes, Todos Santos. Something like that. Santos, Santos, whatever it is. All right, All Saints. We're on our way to All Saints. It's not new here yet. Yeah. What just happened? So we came down to the beach in Toto Santos. Toto Santos, huh? Yes. And pretty much as soon as we get on the beach, we get stuck. We got stuck? This thing got stuck? Yeah, we've never gotten stuck before. We drove never. crazy back roads all that time, never got stuck. And we get stuck here. Well, it's because we broke so, rule number two of driving in Baja. Yeah, we drove at night. We drove at night. If you remember, rule number one in Baja, don't drive at night. Rule number two in Baja, don't, don't drive, drive at night. night. We did that. So we couldn't see where we were going. We got out to the beach and it looked a little bit harder than it was. And then I tried to swing a little turn so I could get back to where I knew it was hard. And all of a sudden, nope. It was too late. But like mosquitoes. All these people just came out. out of nowhere, out of the darkness, <laughs> these people showed up and they're like, all right, bro, we're gonna get you out of here. <laughs> and they That's start, awesome. they have their shovels ready. They're starting to dig around the wheels. Awesome. One guy's running around and letting the air out of the tires. Awesome. And one guy's offering up his Max Track pads. And I'm like, no, it's okay, we have some. These people are great. <laughs> they're awesome people. And we don't know who they are and they're yeah, all scattered about the beach right yeah. now camping. So we'll catch up in the morning. But that was awesome. I mean, I use that word now five times, I think. Yeah. Because it was, it that was, I was genuinely, genuinely surprised by how quick people came to help us out. Yeah, they got us out, what, five minutes? Yeah. But I mean, so, immediately they were digging, maybe, digging, yeah, digging, I pushing. Like... I, oh, it was, it was cool. So we couldn't get it on camera, unfortunately. It was way too dark. Yeah. But we got out of the soft sand. We're camped for the night. It is, man, it's only seven o'clock. It's only seven. I'm an old man because I am not going to see midnight. Are you going to see midnight? Probably not. We're not going to see midnight on New Year's Eve, ringing in the new year, the new decade, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Wow. Yeah. Gosh. So wherever you are, when you're watching this, your new year already began, but hopefully you had a great new year. Hopefully you didn't get stuck in the sand. And if you did, hopefully people came out to help you. <laughs> if we ever happen to be near you and you get stuck in the sand, you can count on us giving you a hand to get out. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, baby. I got you out of the mechanic shop today. Yeah, you did. I got you out of the sand. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like your knight in shining armor. Aww. Cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> you like cheesy sometimes, right? Cheesy's real. Manana, manana. Or later tonight. Or later tonight. <laughs>